everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all um, um, good uh, and trying to, you know, cope with this lockdown situation that we're in. And importantly, that you all had a good long Easter break and um, stayed safe. Um, so, okay, today I'm just going to quickly talk about the five top fragrances that I am so in love with right now and that I'm using right now. I am a perfume girl, I do like my fragrances um, and I tend to keep sort of five top ones that I, I normally use at a time. I don't tend to use the one fragrance forever, I kind of rotate them but I have got the top five that I, I love and normally use and this is what I'm using at the moment. So I'm just going to run through with you quickly on the five top fragrances that I'm wearing right now. Now the first one is from Creed um, and Creed is a perfumery. Um, I tend to have a lot of the perfumes that I wear are actually from a perfumery and um, that's just the way that I am with fragrances. Um, I just feel that, I don't know, they richer and more authentic if it's made by you know a perfumery who specializes in making fragrances so um house of creed with this particular one it is the royal princess oud and i got that um sometime last year really really nice i mean the bottle is still quite full um i don't use uh, a lot of it often at the moment but it is in one of my top five categories that i go to perfume um this one can work for day and evening it's not too too heavy it's a little on the spicy musky sort of um type of thing not too too floral but you know i i just like fragrances that are you know not too too strong but not too subtle either so somewhere in between and this this one is is quite is quite good and i like to do the bottle as well the shape of the bottle it's quite it's quite pretty and um yeah and it's like a rose rose pinkish so that's the first one the other one that I wear a lot of is Aqua de Palma Iris Noble, which is this one. Um, as you can see, I use quite a lot of it. Um, um, this is my usual day fragrance um, that I, I, I wear on a normal day if I'm going to work, if I'm going out and you know in the afternoon, meeting up with my friends, things like that. I tend to wear that one. Um, I've also got the bath um, uh, foam to go with it and the um, lotion as well, the body lotion. So I tend to layer that. So if I have the shower in the morning or the bath, I will then use the lotion and then layer on with the perfume. I tend that if you can, with some fragrances, if you use the trio, as in the bath gel or the shower foam or shower gel or bath foam, whatever it is, to, to wash yourself with, and then you um, follow that on with the lotion and then the perfume it tends the, the scent tends to stay much longer but you know if you don't have either it's fine you know you can just wear the perfume on, on, on its own then one of my very very um, favorite ones and the, the, one of my top ones for, to go to for evening wear if I'm going out on a really good event or a special occasion and things like that I will wear my Clive Christian original I do love Clive Christian, it has got to be my favorite evening wear perfume. It is very subtle and it lasts, it lingers forever, <laughs> so to speak. Um, if it's on your clothes, I smell it on my clothes for ages in my hair. It is a really, really, really lovely um, perfume. And I'll just quickly show you as well, um, when you buy it and they box it up for you. This is one I haven't actually opened yet. It was yet a, a, a gift that I was given. And um, it's really lovely the way that they package everything. And um, I will show you another time. The actual box that it comes in is really gorgeous. Really, really good, of course, and, and worth keeping afterwards. So that's um, Clive Christian. I do love Clive Christian. And the other one is Penhaligon. And once again, Penhaligon is a perfumery and they have all different ranges of, of different um, perfumes. Um, I'm not really loyal to one particular one of their ranges, but this one is the one I'm wearing um, currently as well. Well, not today, but it's one of the top five that I am swapping over each other week and so on. Um, this one is quite strong, it's very floral, so I would say you can wear it in the day, but just a few squirts is all you need. A, a lot of the perfumes that I'm showing you today, to be honest, they're really, really good quality, um, 
and you, you just need a few spritzes on and that's all because they can be quite strong especially this one I think this is the strongest one of the ones that I have I have shown you the scent is quite strong but it's a lovely deep rose um, um, almost earthy sort of smell it's really really nice so that's that one from the house of Penhaligon then I've got um, another favorite of mine for the day this is really old school very sort of 1920s sort of I don't know um, feel to it um, this is first by Van Cleef and Art Mills and they're actually uh, jewelers but they've also got a perfumery again one of my favorites as you can see I've used it to death and I absolutely love it and it's it's quite subtle but it's very sophisticated and quite powdery um, so that's our first by Van Cliff and Art Mills. Last but not least, the classic, of course, Chanel Number no. Five. <laughs> I've had Chanel Number no. Five a while, and I do. I will admit that sometimes I do spritz some on when I'm going to bed, uh, sleep in Chanel. <laughs> it is really, really nice perfume. Good old classic. Um, great for. I tend to wait in the evenings if I go out in the evening to dinner or anything like that. If I'm not um, wearing the Clive Christian or one of the Penhaligon ranges, I, my go-to one would be Chanel number no. 5. I just love the scent. I um, have been wearing this um, Chanel number no. 5 fragrance way back in my early or early 20s. I just got fell in love with it, you know, because I used to think when I was growing up that, you know, the Chanel's were for old people. Mm. It's a very nice classic perfume and I absolutely love it. So, those are my top five fragrances that I'm so in love with at the moment and I'm rotating, you know, I sort of go weekly and use them as I go and then I'll probably move on and um, pick out some other ones that I have in, in, in boxes somewhere upstairs and then maybe another time I'll do a review on that. But today, with this particular video, I thought to share with you those top five fragrances that I'm really enjoying at the moment. I hope you all have a lovely um end to your Easter. Today is Easter Monday and um, for those of you that are going to work to keep us all going in the lockdown, you know, we celebrate you and um, for those of us that are working at home, it's going to be back to work again tomorrow. So if you like this video, if you just give it a thumbs up and um, I'll be posting other videos this week on other things to do with fashion, lifestyle and probably food now and then, but it's going to be mainly fashion and lifestyle. So um, have a good week and I'll catch up with you soon.